So I just wanna do a quick video comparing my two most highly awaited micro spinners. First off, we have the Boomerang Micro from 2R Designs. This is a tiny little brass spinner. It's a smaller version of the Boomerang Mini Pro. This one is uh, 33 grams and it sells for about $45. Regular price is $50, but I think it's been on sale since it first came out. Next up, we have the Tsunami from Flyaway Toys. This is uh, Flyaway's smallest spinner. It's uh, titanium, and it's not a smaller version of any spinner, it's just a small spinner. Uh, this one sells for $59, although I think it's on sale now for maybe 10 or 15% off. And this is 38 grams, so 38 grams, 33 grams. As far as size goes, the, uh, the Tsunami is a bit bigger. It's not quite as tall, but it's wider and it's a lot deeper. So it's sort of a non-issue because as far as pocketability goes, like either one of these can go into a pocket with no problem. The, the thing to keep in mind is that the size here is actually an advantage with the Flyway Toys spinners thicker. So uh, you know, it has these really thick stainless steel buttons. So it is uh, more comfortable to hold. A lot of times with smaller spinners, you're pinching it for extended periods of time and it's not very comfortable. So as far as comfort goes, the uh, I really do prefer the buttons on these Flyway toys. These stainless steel buttons are, are pretty solid. As far as fidgetability goes, I actually prefer the Mini Pro, or the, sorry, the Boomerang Micro. I'm a huge fan of the Mini Pro and I think this shape is uh, really nice and it scales down fairly well. I think the Micro is a little bit too small for me. As soon as I got this spinner, uh, I held it, I was super excited, and I was just like, ah, it's just a tad too small. Kind of just like holding it like this, it makes my hands just feel like I'm uh, just like kind of cramping up. The Flyway Toys is a little bit better. I don't get as much of that cramping sound or cramping feeling, but the change, the difference with the Flyway Toys spinner is that it's kind of pointy. So when you're flipping it or flicking it like this, going with that wave shape, it's all good. But as you play with it more, or you put it in your pocket, you could see that these little titanium corners, they're not sharp, but uh, they are definitely pointy, which I find to be bothersome. As far as uh, spin effects go, just throw this out there with some M spinning this one. It, the uh, Tsunami does look very good. It's a cool spinner when it's spinning. I actually don't like the blue. I wish this thing came out, came in raw titanium. Titanium is such a cool material. I don't know why you would want to anodize it, but that's just me. I feel like I may actually be in the minority there. The, the raw brass, obviously, or machined brass, I guess, is super nice. Fly, uh, 2R does a great job with their machine work, and this thing is just about flawless. Like no sharp edges, this thing came with no no nicks or anything like that. It's just really well machined. Uh, the, the flip side of that is it just like, it is small and it doesn't have, these are almost full size buttons or maybe even full size buttons. Whereas this has these little micro buttons. As far as bearings go, both spinners have R188 bearings. You can see it's pressed in the into the titanium there. And let me... So you could pop that out with a bearing press or with a hair dryer and some force, but uh, not easy to replace. That said, I don't feel like you're gonna have to replace either of them. They both uh, use pretty nice hybrid ceramic bearings. As far as spin time goes, the brass uh, boomerang micro was definitely the big winner. That thing spun on the desk. I posted a video for I think close to four minutes. So uh, it's kind of weird that you would care about spin time with a micro spinner. These things are really just for pure fidgeting, but in case you're using that as some sort of proxy for bearing quality or proxy for balance or something like that, then uh, you know 
that the boomerang micro is just really well done really perfectly balanced the 2r uh, sorry the uh, tsunami went for uh, maybe like two minutes or something which is very respectable for a spinner like a bar spinner in its size but you can see that the, the mini micro boomerang just like keeps going and going and going it's just so smooth so as for my final verdict i'm just going to say off the bat i'm not a huge fan of either of these spinners uh I'm a huge fan of the boomerang design, but the micro is too small for me. So I just, I don't find myself carrying it a whole lot. And then the Tsunami, again, it's just like, I don't really like the shape. I thought I would either love it or hate it. And I'm more in the uh, the hate camp than the love camp. I know some people really like it. I just like can't get behind it. And that's just my personal preference. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Maybe a little bit more smoothing of the edges would have been appreciated. But uh, yeah, I just, I don't like the shape. I don't find it very enjoyable to use when you're sort of mindlessly flicking away at your computer. So I was like super excited to get my hands on both of these and it turns out I really don't love either. If I had to go with one, I would definitely recommend the Boomerang Micro. Not only is it $45 right now compared to like, you know, maybe 55 if you factor in the sales that are going on, but uh, you could buy these on the outlet sometimes. 2R has, an, 2R has an outlet section, so I think you could probably find one of these that's slightly imbalanced or maybe has a little ding on it for like $30. And at that point, yeah, $30 is like, yeah, you know what, maybe you should go for it. You know, at the standard price of 50, uh, I would not recommend buying a micro. But between the two, I definitely do prefer the micro. Just more fun to flick. I like the brass over the anodized titanium. I think the build quality is a little bit nicer. And uh, it's something that I, I kind of like having in my pocket, whereas the Tsunami, I, uh, I really don't appreciate it being just kind of like in my pocket. Like, is it gonna scratch my phone? Is it gonna jab me in the thigh? Like, it's not a huge deal, but uh, I just, I find myself wanting less, ha like wanting to have it with me than uh, the micro. So yeah, any questions or comments, please leave them for me. Uh, these are both good spinners, they're just not really to my liking. Uh, if you're in the market for a micro spinner, I think the uh, the Boomerang Micro is probably the main contender right now. You know, you could probably look at something like the Spinetic, uh, X Micro, Y Micro. I really don't, don't love those. I think they're fine and they come at a very competitive price. I think like $23, $24. So that's worth keeping in mind. But as far as like design and build goes, the uh, the 2R really blows those away. Oh, last thing I wanted to point out was just the uh, the stainless buttons on the Tsunami. I'm a I'm just a big fan. I think they look really cool when you take them out. They have a great feeling to them. Uh, I'm thinking about picking up a set, or uh, I mean the, the spinner's a little too expensive to harvest the buttons from, but. Uh, I would like to get my hands on a set of these. Anyway, that is a micro spinner shootout. Thanks for watching.